Did you know that type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults? In type 1 diabetes, the body does not produce insulin. Insulin is a hormone that is used to convert sugar starches and other foods into energy that the body needs for daily life. About 1 in every 400 to 600 children or young adults have type 1 diabetes. If you or a loved one has diabetes, know that you're not alone. There are plenty of people in the world that are dealing with this every single day, just like you. If you're concerned about the number of diabetic kids and others, such as adults and teenagers, donate to the American Diabetes Association at www.diabetes.org. I am not in any affiliation or I am not with the American Diabetes Association. I am just promoting this because uh, in 2006 my grandmother died. I really miss her and she died in 2006 uh, from type 2 diabetes and uh, my friend Chris's brother Matthew, a fourth grade trooper, <laughs> seriously, who was diagnosed with type 1 two weeks ago and um, their mom called us last night and told us, and it was just, it's really hard to think about that because he's that kind of kid that you see running around and having fun, and he has a lot of friends, and he goes to my old school, and it's just being a fourth grader, I'm sure that's really hard for him, and of course it's hard for everybody who knows him, and I've known him ever since, like, second grade, so it's, like, really, really hard to think about it, that it could be someone you know, it could be someone that is the happiest person. It could be someone that's really sad. It could be anybody. And that doesn't matter who you are. It could it could happen to you. So thanks guys for watching this video. This was a really important thing for me to talk about. Um, if you do want to donate, um, you can donate to the American Diabetes Association at www.diabetes.org. And if you can, if you have anybody that you know, just just give them a hug if they're still mm -hmm. here. And look at pictures of them if it doesn't hurt you, if they did pass away from type 1 or type 2. Just let them know somehow, if they're still alive, that you love them and you, you care for them. And that you don't care about what happens. You just, you want to be there with them through it all. And so that's just really important to me because of knowing Matthew and having known my grandmother and how she passed away from it and many other diseases she had. Um, so thanks guys for watching this video. I've been looking over my shoulder a lot because I think I keep hearing my neighbors. But thanks guys for watching. Uh, this is really important. So just donate if you want to and just give that person a hug. Bye. Just bye guys. Bye. Bye.